Ladies and gentlemen. All right, well, I'm going to see what we can do uh, with a stipulation from Jojo MKE. We have stoned them to death stipulation draft. Uh, you must take all the creature lands and try to use them to kill your opponents. Everything else is fair game. So let's try that. I always try to do the stip when I'm actually um, able to do it. Like there's a creeping tarpet, which is one of the better ones, and uh, we can just easily take that here. And uh, that'll be our stipula stipulation. Jake, what's going on, buddy? Rocket 69, rocket. Okay, so we're we're one down. I think this also includes like Mutavault. I think that's probably the only one. It's not gonna have Mishra's Factory in here. Ooh, a pack where I do not have to actually pick a creature land. Okay. So we have to assume we're gonna be like five colors, right? Which likes me to lean towards Staff of Nin because it's just a nice way to. It's just a. I'm not sure about Sword because I don't know if we're gonna have the extra two mana to equip it after we have a creature land. Sammy, where are you at? Let's see if I can find you. Oh, we got Lord Tupperware in this draft, too, passing to me. Oh, there he is, Iron Chef Sammy. Iron Chef Sammy himself, two away. Um, Yeah, so Staff of Din seems good because it's not color-specific. I also like Obnixilis because we do have Creeping Tarpet so far. So, let's... I think it's one of these two. We can get... No, well, we can get... No, wait, no. No. That doesn't work. I had a piece of lettuce from a sandwich I had. I'm sorry about that, guys. Um, I think we're staying Staff of Nin. I just like Staff of Nin a lot. It's kind of the same as... Oh, wow. Creeping Tarpet. Raging Ravine, Shambling Vent, and Celestial Colonnade in the same pack. <laughs> I mean, I'm obviously a bigger Celestial Colonnade fan. Um, and I think this makes our, our deck a little bit easier because then we can just be Esper if we don't get... I'm hoping the Shambling Vent comes back. I'm 100% taking the Colonnade. And a Lava Claw reaches. Alright, so we're getting we're getting a bunch of creature lands here. Liliana Dreadhorde General. Two black lands. Yeah, that seems good. I don't like having two six drops, but maybe... <sighs> Day of Judgment seems good. I'm going to take the Liliana. I think it's just too good. Man, three creature lands in the same pack. What a time to be alive. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Hero's Downfall seems very, very good. Find Finality, unfortunately, cannot get our creature lands back. I'll take the Hero's Downfall. Eh, Copper Line Gorge is not a creature. Anguish on Making seems good. Yeah, I'll take an Anguish on Making. There's no reason we're green yet. But we are white and black, so. We're basically four colors right now. If Shambling Vent comes back, that'd be great. If Raging Ravine comes back, we're in trouble. Well, not in trouble, but we're... Face Fetter seems good. Like, I, I think I don't want cards that just keep us alive at this point. <clears throat> when are you going to stream Wild Classic? Ooh, I'd have to start playing Wild Classic first. Look at these guys canceling each other out. Reflecting pool seems fantastic here, actually. Okay. Okay, we're doing it. I'm going to blow my nose for a second. Hold on. <coughs> Sorry you guys heard that. Hold on. All right. Oh, the Shambling Vent came back. Of of the both lands, the Shambling Vent came back. That's fantastic. Um, Serum Whispers? Shir Shirum, Shirum Whispers, he says, or a Doom Whisper? Or Electrolyze. Interesting. I think I like Electrolyze here. 
Feast of Saint Trap? Sure. Spear, sure. Well, four creature lands in the first pack seems pretty good. <clears throat> So, Wrath of God seems great. Stirring Wildwood seems good, too. What is the exact wording? Do I have to take all of them? Must take all creature lands. Okay. Yeah, so we got to take Stirring Wildwood here. All right. We are officially five colors, guys. Reflecting Pool is just a great five-color land. Oh, Hissing Quagmire. Okay. Oh, boy. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six. We have six of them, and we have seen seven of them. I think it might be Overgrown Tomb, based on our mana base here. Nothing else in this pack really strikes me as a five-color card. <clears throat> mm, bribery seems great. Chupacabra also seems very, very good. Well, I took I took Overgrown Tomb because I want to take Fetches at some point. I do like Mana Confluence a lot, but Mana Confluence actually might come back. People don't respect Mana Confluence. I think it's Bribery. It's just too good here. Uh, Gilded Lotus. Hmm. Stomping Ground or a Gilded Lotus? I haven't Ziminipod, I have not sneezed today. So you might be referring to a video uh to the to me blowing my nose. Similar but different. I like Lotus a lot, I just worry about five mana. We don't have any like signets or anything. <coughs> Excuse me. Um yeah, I'll take Lotus. Needle Spires? Wow. Okay, well. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Is that right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. No, we have 7. Oh, Scarab God? I, Sammy, was that what you were talking about? Why is this guy so late? That's insane. Uh, Hinterland Harbor is a good one to have, especially with Overgrown Tomb. Alright. Well... <coughs> We definitely need playables in this last pack, but... Man. This deck's looking crazy. Thank you. Check two. Thanks so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. Appreci appreciate it with my Shiram Visions. Let's Wrath of God here. Isolated Chapel and Sun Petal Grove. Also, Riftwing Cloudskate, which seems good. I'm just taking Riftwing Cloudskate here. Hmm. Could just be Crassus. Actually, we have Gilded Lotus. I'm definitely taking the Crassus here. None of these cards are great. I guess it could just be Is It Charm? Eh, we could take Languish. Eh, Journey to Nowhere seems good as a two matter rule. Or Zoria's Signet seems great for us. Wow, okay. That worked out well.
<coughs> is it Signet? Jace, Liliana. I feel like it's just Signet with this deck. Yeah, I like Signet here. None of these cards are really stepping up. Man, our mana base is crazy. I just think it actually is Celestia's Signet here. I think a third Signet's fine for this deck. Uh, I do like an Elspeth. We can give our creature lands flying. Yeah, Elspeth seems great here. Flooded Strand, what can you get? Nothing really. We have an Overgrown Tomb, but that's pretty much it. I could take City of Brass. Oh, Lumbering Falls, never mind. <laughs> There's no choice here. What do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right? No, eight. We have eight. Hinterland Harbor can go down. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight of of ten. And we passed we had to pass one of them. We had to pass Raging Ravine. Prophet seems sweet, but we have nothing to do with our mana on their turn. Like, we have literal one instant. We have Electral... Oh, I have two. We have Electrolyze and Hero's Downfall. So we're going to untap our mana and be like, Alright, go ahead. <laughs> I have nothing to do with them. Uh, I think I like Dragonlord Ojitai or Oblivion Ring a little bit better. We also passed a Pestermite, unfortunately, in the last pack. So Kiki Jiki is there. Yeah, I think I just like Ojitai as a win condition. Yeah, the Vigilance and Vigilance, but like... Galaxy Brain plays. <laughs> oh, Cyclonic Rift. Also, Teferi? Jeez. Our deck seems like it's coming together. It's gotta be Cyclonic Rift, right? With three Signets and a Gilded Lotus. Oh boy, but Teferi is just such a good... Such a good gentleman. <coughs> it's one of these two. I don't know which one, though. I don't know which one. I'll take Cyclonic Rift. Mm -hmm. Carnage Tyrant's interesting. Doomblade could just be fine. Glorybringer could be fine. I wish I could better better prioritize like which lands I have multiples of so I know exactly like what colors I have a lot of. I think blue is good. Because we have Hinterland Harbor, Lumbering, Creeping, and Celestial Colonnade. <coughs> hmm. I might just want <coughs> sorry, I might just want Xenagos. Because one and one is easier than two and everything else costs two. So we'll just take Xenagos. Xenagos, if you will. We only have five creatures. We're really like riding the creature wave. Am I sick? No, I'm just like my throat just gets scratchy in the like when I first start talking for the day. Like it takes me a little bit to warm up. So I don't know. I don't know why that is. Hidden Dragon Slayer. It's probably just Shouldered. Shouldered is the card like you have to deal with the most here. Mm, Jace is okay. Actually, this could be an approach deck. Do we just approach here? Oh, Sacred Foundry? Yeah, I'll take a Sacred Foundry.
Eh, flame Slash is good. I think. Eh, Abrupt Decay is good. That's playable. Deafening Clarion, okay. Uh, Third Bit Inspector, probably not playing a Steel Leaf Champion. Urza, that's interesting. Alright, we actually need cuts, which is nice. That one guy, Overware, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. All right, we have 12 lands. I thought we had more than that. I for sure thought we had more. I'm going to have to open a document here and keep track of these lands. All right, so white, blue, black, red, green. White sources, we have one, two, three. I don't want to include a reflecting pool because we kind of need to have it, right? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. I am including these, though, because, like, they're cheap. They're just two mana. So, like, if we hit two, any two lands, we have a white source. Um, blue, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Also good. Black, we have black. One, two, three, four, five. Just five. Uh, red we have right but I'm not going to count reflecting pools if we, don't, if we don't have a single red to cast electrolyze reflecting pool is not going to count as our single red uh, one two three four red so to our totals right now are seven six five four one two three four five Six green. Okay, went back up a little bit there. And <clears throat> do we cut things? Do we play like Deafening Clarion? I don't think we want. I don't think we want to. Oh, we took out took out Geist of Saint Draft already. Okay, that's good. Riftwing goes here. <laughs> that's like because I want to make sure we have enough mana to get like one black, one green. But like Reflecting Pool is not going to help if we hit only blacks. You know what I mean? So like I'm not. That's why I don't include Reflecting Pool. <clears throat> I think we want to cut Shouldered, really. Like, it seems weird, but, like, it's our it's one of our only... It's, we have f six creatures. One of them is Shouldered. Hydroid Crass isn't great at getting back. Um, so then we have, like, Riftwing Cloudskate, Seagate Oracle. I mean, we have Scarab God, too, but... Scarab God can hit their creatures, which is great. So that's one cut. You're probably going to be a seven a lot of the time, I hope. Maybe it's, it might just be Gilded Lotus, but I like Gilded with Hydro Crassus and a Cyclonic Rift, and even Approach. Um, we have a lot of removal, which is nice. I also like that we have Deathling Clarion and, and Flame Slash in the sideboard. <clears throat> because I think they're they're both pretty good. Could just play 41. I think 41 is actually fine with three signets. I'm actually okay with that. So we get five lands here. So we're probably just going to do basics. <clears throat> like, one, 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 two, one. No. Maybe not even, maybe we don't even want a planes. Because we already have seven white sources. And a gilded lotus. Uh, I don't think you ever sideboard bribery. That sounds, that sounds crazy to me. Um... So I would actually go no white, one red, one green. So this leaves us with seven, seven, six, five, seven. Seven, seven, six, five, seven, which seems good. <clears throat> let's let's actually look at our, our costs here. Eleven blue. Alright, so we might want two blue. No, I think we still want one blue. Maybe. Island also turns on Hidden Harbor, which is nice. I think actually four red sources with three red cards is fine. <clears throat> three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
three green sources. Three, all, only three green cards, too, with six green sources. I don't think we need a... So I'm going to say no for this one. Probably no for this one. Black. I kind of want one. One, two, one. Okay, I think what we're doing is one plains, two islands, one swamp, and probably one mountain. All right, let's do it like that. We don't need red drop early, but keep in mind we do want to activate like Lava Claw Reaches, Needle Spires. I guess those are the only two red ones. Seems good. All right. Let's hope that we don't flounder. Like Michael Scott when he fell into the Koi Pond. You know what? I'll keep it. It's two lands. Any land could be good. If it's a red source, if it's a green source, we have a card we can play. We'll see. Rocket 69, Rocket 69. Lumbering Pulse, Hissing Quagmire. Let's play that because it turns Abrupt Decay on next turn, and it's also good for Xenagos the Reveler. What, are you going to play a card? Oh, in that. That's real mature. Oh, Swamp. Okay. I'm kind of tempted to kill this. I think I'm going to. Don't even try to counter it. Alright, so if we can get a red source that comes into play untapped, that would be great. My biggest problem with, the, with what we have going on now is that all of our lands come into play tapped. Or a lot of them do. <clears throat> oh, look at this guy. Well, that's not castable. Just like everything else in our hand. So we're just going to get in there. Okay. A white source, a red source. Yeah, either of one of those would be good. And that one anecdote leads me to believe the tap lands are in no way a problem ever. That's correct. Oh, another Signet, eh? They discarded a black card, so I think they might just be stuck on black. Oh, that's a red source. Oh, you're gonna Vendillion click me? Sure. Sure. <laughs> Let's. I feel like you take this because it's just really good next turn. Yep, that's what you took. Let's play this. Uh, yeah, we can't do anything else, right? So let's just get in there with this guy. <coughs> and then if we hit a land, it'll be great because we can still play Staff of Nin and shoot this jobby. Yeah, uh, you can't take lands with Vindelian Click. That would be ridiculous. Bribery. <laughs> well, now they get a scarab god. But <clears throat> we could just cyclonic rift it. Like whatever they take, we have cyclonic rift for, so I'm not like super concerned with it. 
Ojitai would be good, but then we Cyclonic Grifted. Yep, that's what I figured you'd do. Hydroid Crassus. <coughs> well. <coughs> Playing Xenagos doesn't do anything. Like, Crassus for one. Like, we don't even draw a card. Like, it's... It seems bad. Crassus for two seems really bad. Like, we just block this. We take five, six, seven, and then they draw a card. I mean, we could hope to get a land. I don't know if that's better than just leaving up Cyclonic Rift to bounce our own Dragon Lord. But if they activate this, like, it's pretty bad for us. Alright, we're gonna just roll with it, I guess. Land untapped. Oh god, we're so lucky. <clears throat> Talk about the luckiest. I mean, they could just not attack with Dragon Lord Ojutai, too, so... Yep, figured that would be the thing. Did they play a land this turn? No, that's unfortunate. Eh, whatever. I mean, they could sacrifice both of these guys. Um, yeah, alright. If we play Liliana, they just lose both guys, right? <coughs> I mean, then they have to spend their turn killing Liliana. I guess we're just hoping they don't have a counterspell. If they have a counterspell, we're dead. All right, they did not. Mm, seems fine. Oh, they missed what activating this to to keep Ojita alive? Yeah, I missed it too. <coughs> yep, activate three top. That's fine. Hmm. Don't waste another minute on your crying. <laughs> <coughs> I kind of like Staff of Nin here. Like, the only, the only pressure they have is Treetop Village, so. And next turn we can go Elspeth and keep up Hero's Downfall. Or we can just start attacking with things. I feel like going to six is, <clears throat> is okay here. They do have a black mana, but I don't think that's really a, a huge threat. Oh yes, give me them crads. Well, that's interesting here. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. Let me just keep up Hero's Downfall and like play an Elspeth. 
That feels good. Okay. <clears throat> well. You got it. I just want to feel safe enough to start attacking with these guys. Alright, we're flipping. Map keeps on flipping, flipping, flipping into the clue zone. Gonna flip, get some Oh, the treasure's not clues. Dang it. Dang it. Vraska's contempt. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, that's your turn, right? Like, that's, that's no big deal. That's not a big deal. Definitely hear us down falling this dude. Did you get a haircut? Uh, yeah, like last week I got a haircut. <clears throat> All right, well, you know what they say. One treetop deserves another. Pip quiz. What came out first? MTG Alpha, Steve Miller Band's pop hit, Fly Like an Eagle. Oh, that's like, wow, that is a... I would say Fly Like an Eagle came out first. Because I feel like that's way earlier than, like, 93. That feels like 70s, 80s. <clears throat> but it could be close. It actually could be close, and I just don't know. I'm flying like an eagle. Spirit carried me. <laughs> False black bear. Okay, that's fair. Well, beats bears. Ba bears beats Battlestar Galactica. So, ooh, fascinating. Okay, we're doing it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. I really want to. I want to play this guy when we have enough mana to uh, to activate him as well. That's the that's the tech. Two, three, four. <clears throat> Xenagoose. Uh, create a gentleman. Attack you with all my gentlemen. Fall like an eagle with 76. Yeah, that's not even close. <coughs> I'm just keeping, keeping Cyclonic Rift up here. So they only have two cards. They're going to go to four, but they don't have any mana, really. In case they go, like, end, end of turn, crack all these, pester might, and then, you know, <clears throat> somehow. I'm sorry about my scratchy throat, guys. One, two, three, four, four. Yeah, I thought this was Champion of Wits. Champion of shoots. I was going to actually bounce it, but I think we're just going to bounce everything next turn, including the treasures, because they tapped out, so... The itchy and scratchy throat. <clears throat> I'm so... Oh, God, it's so obnoxious. Yeah, the power still... <clears throat> The power still counts for four because it's using what's known as last known information. Let me get rid of an abrupt decay, huh? I think we're way ahead here. Oh, approach of the second sun? Jesus. 
Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Um, we could add two mana, play Scarab God, and then keep Scarab God up. What do we get here? Vendillion Click, Dragon Lord Ojutai. We could also just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Cyclonic Rift them. Keep up three mana. Yeah, we can keep up Anguished on making mana and Cyclonic Rift them. That seems good. Like, they lose their 4-4. <clears throat> uh, okay, we'll do it. I'm game. Red and the green. Cyclonic Rift is Overload. One, two... What is this? Five? Um, one, two, three, four, five. And then we have one, two, three... Four... So we want a white and a black. Yeah, say five. Oh, they're gonna pack this? <laughs> Dissolve. You got it. Well, <clears throat> that's basically the same thing. I'll just play Seagate Oracle here. It's gonna be two lands. Ready? One land. I'll take the little Riftwing Cloudy, Cloudy Boy. <clears throat> <clears throat> what are they doing here? They got one black mana? Fatal pushing? Seagate Oracle? Murderous cutting the 2 2. Okay, well, I mean, that's a thing, I guess. Yeah, I didn't want to take three because then, like, if they do find a way... I guess we would have killed this guy, but I don't know. What am I afraid of? I don't know. That's life, man, not knowing what you're afraid of. We're not going to take four here. We're just going to block with Soldier. Uh-oh, something good. Yep, <clears throat> taking three from that, for sure. Or we can... No, we're not letting them draw two here. For sure. Shoot you in the face. <clears throat> well, didn't want to do that. But I guess... Wait, why didn't... Why doesn't this go on the stack? And then why can't I respond to it going on the stack? Like, shouldn't this go on the... Did I have always yield to this? Turn on... Uh, I probably had an auto yield on. That's so dumb. I don't feel good about this. Mr. Stark. Yeah, that was dumb. Hoisted by my own petard. Get him. Uh, this is not a five color goal list. This. this is this is the Jojo MKE stipulation where I have to take all the creature lands. And I'm hoping that I just don't slam a lightning bolt or something. I don't know if there's any like spell that can deal us three damage here, but like kill this guy hasty black, red, or black, blue, or green creature. I don't think that exists, but stranger things have happened. 
Oh, I activated Golos a ton of times the other day, but I just couldn't beat an intimidating zombie life, uh, life bane intimidator. Is that what it's called? <clears throat> life bane zombie. Yeah, Crater Hoof would kill us. That would be pretty comical, because they do not strike me as a Crater Hoof deck in any way, shape, or form. Well, Psionic Blast would kill us, but it is not in the cube, as you can imagine. There's nothing with haste, right? Am I just paranoid? Okay, that's fine. Oh, I was like, okay, you're killing my blocker. It's got to mean something. I mean, I think they're... I think they're dead. Because they're a virtual four. We're making a guy with uh, with Xenagos, and we are able to activate probably two creature lands right now. Right? <clears throat> like, we can activate Quagmire and... So we can go one, two, three. Activate this. Get that creature land kill. Interland Harbor, create a 2-2. Two, two. So you're automatically going to 2, and then we have, like... Yeah, okay, so. Creeping Tar Pit wins the game. Wrath of God seems kind of meh. Is Threads of Disloyalty good? If it was mana cost 3 or less, like, oof, Threads of Disloyalty. OP. <coughs> I almost like Geist against them a little bit. They don't seem creature-heavy at all. What if we just nail a, a Geist of Saint Traft? I'm just like, all right, gotta deal with it. We established that by speculation, that's true. That's true. I totally forgot about our speculative crater hoof. That's my bad. Eagle. Riffling goes over here, which balances things out a little bit. We could have approached there too. Yeah, I agree. Um, yeah, I agree that Char and. So the thing about Char versus Psionic Blast is Char, you have better options in that color. You know, that's why you don't play Char in, in red decks because you just have better options. Um, but Psionic Blast, you can play it with Snapcaster Mage, or it's blue removal. Like, if you're playing a mono blue deck, you have a four damage burn spell that that you didn't actually, that no one really expects, or, you know, that you should otherwise not have access to. <clears throat> Yikes. Who has more money, Iron Man or Batman? You know, I feel like logically it would make sense that Iron Man had more money because he actually uses his money for, for like, you can see the, like, the results of his money. Like, you can see the businesses and, like, the things he makes and, like, things like that. Whereas Batman, I'm like, you just have, you like, you just have money, but, like, I don't see you ever, like, making new things or... Yeah, okay. This hand seems good. Um, we'll put the let's put the approach back. That thing cost seventeen thousand mana. 
I don't know, but honestly, I think it's probably <clears throat> you can probably find it somewhere online. I bet I bet it's oh oh blue source we need a blue source um it's probably online somewhere like which one has more money. <clears throat> Batman does have his own company, but so does Iron Man. Like, Stark Industries is humongous. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm gonna fly like an eagle. Uh, Spider-Man in the, in the recent comics actually does have a good amount of money because he owns Parker Industries. Alright, well now we have Anguish Done Making at least. Geist of St. Traff not coming down on turn 3, unfortunately. Oh, all right. So we know they have dissolve. Oh, stirring wildwood. Okay. Man, next turn we can play Xenagos. That's pretty good. Ooh, lava claw reaches. <clears throat> do we just drop? Do we just drop a Xenagos? Like it's our hot new album. Y'all heard of Xenagos? Oh no, they're gonna dis dissolve it. Oh no, Xenagos has been dissolved. Iron Man has more money than Batman, but the richest superhero by a lot is Black Panther. Yeah, oh yeah, for sure. Oh for sure, Black Panther is a superhero that gets overlooked in terms of riches. Um. Because of Wakanda. <laughs> so it's like, oh. You, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's comically not even close. What are you doing here? You bouncing this? What's happening? Five mana? What is this? Is it an X spell? Oh, you're just murderous cutting my land. That's weird. You're a weird dude. You're a funny guy. I like you, but you're funny. Okay, you change your mind. <coughs> Iron Man has like 12 billion, Black Panther has like 90.2 billion. That's hilarious. Gimpy, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Well, this is unfortunate. We wanted to attack, but we also wanted our sixth mana. Oh, look at this guy. Hey, look at me. <clears throat> I guess we're just playing Journey to Nowhere here. No, I'll shoot you in response. Okay, you got it. Man, having a, a blue source or a sixth mana here would be nice. That shambling vent would have been real good if we could just drop a Liliana. Treasure. It's my treasure map. That's fine. Land. Electrolyze. Why do we have four blue cards in our hand? Oh, I don't like it. No, sir. I don't like it. They don't have Raska's Content Mana, so we're actually just going to get in there. <clears throat> you ready? They do have Go for the Throat, but I don't think that's going to affect... No, Ultimate Price. Ultimate Price is what they have. Yep, that's pretty good. I guess we can anguish on making and still pay for the...
half of Nin, huh? Oh, they tapped on our land, so we actually can't do that. That's hard. Is it... Is it uh, spell or ability? Jesus. Oh, Jesus. <clears throat> That's brutal. That's disgusting. Okay, so attacking with the Shambling Vent actually uh, affected our entire game. Oh boy. You got it. Oh man, Inferno Titan, or Frost Titan is a hell of a dude. Boy, this game would be different if we had a sixth land. I mean, I guess we could have just drawn a sixth land too by turn 10, but I guess, you know, that's a little harder to come by. And we also have three Signets in the deck that we could have played at any given point, but. You know. I'm asking for a lot, I think. Okay. <laughs> Another blue card. Well. <clears throat> oh, God. One, two, three, four. Face fetters on this. I mean, we could block Titan with Hissing Quagmire, but I'm not thrilled about going down to um, four lands here when they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 12 lands. 12, 12 mana to five mana. Like, totally, totally fair game. <clears throat> not unreasonable at all. We go to nine here, and then we go to six if we actually draw land to play this. We're going to draw Sacred Foundry. You guys ready? Oh, an island. Boy, that's the perfect land, isn't it? Well, that's just peachy. My daddy gave me a name, and then he walked away. Uh, white, black, blue. You got a counter, you got a counter. Ooh, we did it. We did it. Phil Belmont, thank you so much for continuing the sub. Really appreciate it. Really, really appreciate it. Phil Belmont gave me a name. And then he walked away. Yeah, that's fine. Buddy, ain't nobody care about that. What are we discarding here? Um, one, two, three. One, two, three. Like, we can play both of these next turn. Hydro Crisis keeps us pretty well stacked. Uh, I'm going to take discard Geist because they're just going to make us sacrifice it, so. That seems terrible. Oh, look, I found some lands, guys. <coughs> okay, so. Thank you. Cyborg Huey, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. One month away from a full year. Can you imagine? Oh, that's got to be a black, huh? Why didn't I... Uh, oh, the, we didn't use this one for black. Black, black, two, three, scoop, dot, doop, 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 doop. If they had a counter spell, I feel like they would have countered Anguished on making it, right? Like, that seems like the play. You don't let your Frost Titan die, and then let me resolve it and counter Liliana, like, two turns later. Like, oh, I don't care about Liliana. I'll discard Electrolyze, and then we'll just... <clears throat> start destroying her. We got like four or three creature lands in play. Like, when you hit a year, you'll find a gold bar under your pillow that night. Wow, that's exciting. Me or 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 them? I don't know. So now we're at three cards, three cards, but we have three creature lands and a better Liliana. And we don't have. We no longer have that Liliana. Sad. Uh, 
my daddy gave me a name. And then he walked away. Mike's daddy gave him a name. Okay, so we're going to go one, two, three, four, activate, and then we can do other things. I kind of just want to kill the Liliana here, and I don't think they're going to really have a way to deal with that. One, two, three, four, five. All right, let's see what we can do here. Liliana for Liliana. <clears throat> attack, attack. But don't worry, Frank, you're safe. Josh, I feel like I see you regularly enough to not have to worry about that, which is nice. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. Well, they have one card in hand. Hmm. And I'm probably just going to discard Overgrown Tomb here. Suspend this guy. Yeah, that's fine. Maelstrom Pulse targeting Faith Fetters. Oh, that seems fine. <clears throat> Liliana discard, sure. And then you get to draw two cards. So you basically, this was basically a divination, right? They traded a Maelstrom Pulse for the ability to draw two. So, totally fine. <clears throat> and now we can still actually kill Liliana if we want to. Presuming they don't play something big here. Oh, God. Scarab God. <clears throat> Yep, if they take Scarab God, that seems absolutely disgusting. And now I'm wishing I kept Riffling Cloudscape in hand. Yeah. Could also take Ojitai again. Hydrated Crest is a 5-5. Five, five. That's what I thought. Come on. Come on. That's not it. Okay. Oh, that's pretty brutal. What are they getting back? They can get back Walking Ballista or Geist of St. Traft. Yep, that's one, two, three, four. They can get back both. Yeah, that's probably the game because, because we suspended this guy. <clears throat> Alright, well. They don't get to attack us, at least. They just get two of our creatures. That's no big deal. Oh, we can also just draw, like, Cyclonic Rift, which would be sick. Hmm. I guess they could niggle Liliana to kill this and attack us. I was wrong. Yep. <laughs> That's what they'll do. Man, this is comically bad. Like, if we just kept this in hand, we would just be able to bounce this guy. I don't know why we didn't. Like, I just was like, oh, well, maybe I'll have a thing to do in two turns. Sure. Go to three. Basically dead. God, you can activate twice and draw a card. Fendillion click. Sure. <clears throat> like, it's funny, because even if we use this to bounce, or to, like, uh... Yeah, it's fine. Whatever. I don't care. I 
Yep, bribery wins the game. Like you do. I feel like we actually could have won this game. There were a couple things that we did, uh, I would say, incorrectly. <clears throat> I think the, the Riffling Clouds gate really actually just was the worst play. I think Elspeth? We're one man away from, like, killing, killing, but then, like, they still have Geist of Sand Trap. Like, we just can't deal with the Hexproof. <clears throat> so, I guess we'll just try again. Uh, we still had Rift, yeah, but, like, we can't... We can't get it and also cast it for seven. Uh, yeah, I like this hand. <clears throat> Seems good. Unfortunately, we did not have any luxury to attack with the creature lands that much last game. Still need a blue for these guys, but we're, uh, okay color-wise for these three. Man, I, I remember when our deck had signets in it. Hey, look at that. All right. Look at that. Not a blue signet, which is two of the three of the ones we have, but, you know, it's still a signet, I guess. Well, that's obnoxious. <clears throat> Guess we'll get rid of Electrolyze again. Hmm. We can play Xenagos here, which is actually pretty good. Or Elspeth. Hmm. We can play Xenagos next turn, play Elspeth. Discard, like... I mean, do we just anguish on making the, the Liliana here? I mean, they'll get one more discard, but that's fine. Lane the main. Thank you so much for the host, buddy. Really appreciate it. Hmm. I mean, I think Scarab God is actually too good. Liliana sucks to discard, but, like... At least we have Scarab God in hand. They're probably going to bribery us, because that's just how you do. They did not bribery us. Fascinating. Oh, that's good. Create a do 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 They could have dissolved, which is fine. Cotton Accenture. That's fine. I mean, I feel like our two, our, our two cards are very, very good, so. Plus, we got the Xenagos. X gonna give it to you. Oh, 
Oh, isn't that cute? <clears throat> oh, we need to hit a land so we can anguish down making. I guess we could actually just Xenagos. Plus Xenagos. What is this? One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's go down to five. Every game with this guy. They also have win in three minutes. Why do our opponents take so long in these cube drifts? Yeah, I figured it would be Ojitai. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have no creatures in either graveyard, which is unfortunate. One, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, we could actually <coughs> play Scarab God. Do we have blue, black? We have blue. Blue, black, black. We do have the mana for it. Hmm. Could also just attack with Colonnade. Keeping Colonnade up is kind of scary because, like, if they have um, Murderous Cut or Vraska's Contempt, it's pretty brutal. Which makes me wonder if we just slam Scarab God and not care. So if you block a creature, you're taking... You gotta... S yeah, alright. You know what? I'm game. Go to eight. Or trade here. And I'm fine with it. And if you kill the Xenagos, like, I still get three two twos out of it. And you knock it to impulse. They didn't even block anything? Well, that's fascinating. <clears throat> What could I have done with one blue-white mana? That's a weird choice. So now the satyrs alone. Can you can't. You gotta. Hit, you gotta hit Xenagos. Like you can't just give me like three free mana. Yep. So no trigger for you, which is fine. But now you're dead to these guys. Colonnade's real good against you. And we just win the match. All right, seems good. Seems good. Yeah, there's no way they had. There's no way they had Massacre Worm. Like they would have seen it in the, in the three games, I imagine. This hand seems okay. We do need a red source, but we got Gilded Lotus and a Signet. Alright, let's see what we can do. Hmm. 
might just play this guy. We are the champions, my friends. Well, now I think we're playing, um, yeah, now I think we're playing Reflecting Pool into Celestia Signet, so next turn we can Xenagoose. Nothing, huh? What are the odds you're going to counter this? It's like 30,000%, I think. Xenagoose! Xenagoose! Resolved Xenagoose! Alright, well, I'm okay with it. They don't have double black or double blue here, which is interesting for removal potential. Oh, we're going to pay a cost. Okay, sure. We'll keep on fighting until the end. Ba 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 ba. One, two, three, four, five. Oh no. Oh no, we did it wrong. Oh no. Ooh, spicy. I mean, I'd still rather them take three and get a Seder out of it than them countering the, uh, the Xenagos. Like, obviously, that's better. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hmm. So, one, two, three, four, five. Oh boy. And I'll play this guy because it still lets us keep up Electrolyze. So we can Electrolyze their face and then kill them with Colonnade and Shambling that next turn. Just like Jojo MK wanted. They have Settle the Wreckage? I mean, last turn seemed like a fine Settle turn. Uh, okay. Red and blue. You guys ever been to the Hinterland Harbies? <coughs> uh, one, two, three, four, five. Activate. Hmm. I guess we'll find out. I mean, I'm predicting sell the wreckage, but Vents. Okay. Glad we didn't play land yet. Tanos with the resub, buddy. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate you. Look at this beautiful two for one. I mean, it's not really two for one because we just get to bonk the colonnade back down. Tanos, welcome, welcome, my dude. Always a pleasure. Always a pleasure to see you. Hope you're healing well. Oh, we just won the game. Celestial Colony doing doing the Lord's work. I'm gonna take Wrath of God out against this deck. I'm gonna bring Geist of Saint Traft in against this deck. <laughs> Absolutely perfect. Absolutely perfect. Um, everything else seems good. At least it's not burning all day, Tate. That's a good... Yeah, that's a good improvement. We are the champions. 
We are. Yeah, usually JoJo MK tips are pretty sweet, and they often revolve around titans, um, swords, and angels. So this 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 creature land was a good a good way to mix it up a little bit. I kept this hand. I hope we draw like something good. That gives us all the colors of the wind. Double black for this and a green. It's kind of a good draw. Buckwild, thanks for saying so, buddy. We are the champions. No time. Who said that? Who said this? Bulamog. Dang it. Keep this up. Let's keep it a charm up. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. What did I say again? You said we are the champions, my friends, and now it's been in my head for the past. I don't know. You said that seven twenty-two. Six minutes. It's been in my head for six minutes now. Oh, look at this. This is exactly what we're doing. I was just saying thanks for your great content. I usually only get to catch you on YouTube. It will be good to see you and Logan again. Oh, that's awesome. Blessed check. Checker, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. I am looking forward to that. I'm definitely looking forward to that pre-release. It's going to be good times. Everyone was super nice last time. And uh, I like all the guys that, that run Game Grid. I am going to be in Logan, Utah for the pre-release for the uh, Throne of Eldraine pre-release at uh, Game Grid Logan. So if you guys are in Utah uh, or if you're even close by and you want to swing by, Definitely, definitely come hang out at Game Grid Logan. Well, I guess they get to resolve this instead. That's sad. Wow, Tefford Time Raveler. That's good. That's nice. We're having a good time. Well, let's add another one of these. You should come to Atlanta. Well, I mean, Jake Jake invites me and pays for my flight and puts me up. So if you guys want to do that in Atlanta, I am more than willing to come. I'm not just traveling to random places on my, you know, on my own dime. Because I would just stay here and pre-release, honestly. Hmm. That seems good. If you have another land, you get to go Teferi, Teferi. That's rough. No time for losers, cause it's just a Teferi again. This is fine if it resolves, right? Never resolves. I'll condescend for one beta. Oh, good mana leak. How nice. They have one card in hand? Alright, well. Geist of Saint Traff next turn. That's pretty cool. I mean, there's something... They could just bounce their own Riftwing Cloudscape. Re rebounce this. That seems good. Oh god, Vencer. Bounce my land. Bounce Vencer. Bounce my land. Sure. The old blue-white land destruction deck. Always fun. Oh <sighs> boy. 
Wow, they didn't just bounce another land. I feel like that would have locked me out of the game. Check two. <laughs> Tell them I said good night. That's hilarious. Let me guess. Bounce land again? Yeah, seems good. Let's go to game three. Now we know they have three three mana planeswalkers in their deck. That's that's kind of cool. Um, not really that cool at all. Yeah, none of our cards are good against that. All right, well, I guess we just gotta keep on trucking. Sounds pretty bad. Do we just hope we get the lands? We can do better. We did not do better. Oh boy. I'm going to keep it and just ship Liliana. One land, I guess, and we got three lands. I'm sorry, what's happening right now? <laughs> what what just Thank happened? You. Huh. Well, that's a thing. Thank you. <sighs> Thank you. Oh my god. Well, this this game's over. All right, incoming 50 gifted thank yous. Tana's dude, you are amazing. You. Oh my god. Also, guys, it's September, so if any of you want to convert your gifted subs into actual subs, thank you. Feel free to do that. It's only 250 to do that during the month of September, and it's a great way to support the channel. Alright, well Thank you. Mulligan to six, kept a one lander. Not the best way to uh Oh my god. Tana's dude, you are unreal. Thank you so much, man. You, you are insane. In the best possible way, not like any kind of negative, not kind, of, not any kind of Thank negative you. insanity, but like a real positive, gener generous insanity, which is, oh boy. I don't Thank think you know. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna veto reading out all the subs. I think I'm gonna veto that. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, if you counter this, like, you literally have no soul, so. Thank you. You're just gonna venture this? <laughs> sure. Thank you. Cryptic command on a signet. God, don't wish me good luck. Don't say good luck, have fun if you're gonna cryptic command my signet when I get stuck on land for three turns. Thank you. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Taunus, dude. Thank, Thank you so you. much, man. I broke Saffron off. He tried to read them all. Wow. Oh, this hand is fantastic. This is all I could ask for in a... Thank you. 
in a five color hand. Thank you. He does not want you. I'm like, yeah, you just don't say good luck, have fun. Don't tell me to have fun if you're just going to literally deny me the ability to play magic. Thank you. Oh my Thank god, you. it's gonna go on forever, guys. If you guys are watching on YouTube, I apologize for these 50 gifted subs. Uh, but more so, spe more specifically, Thank I apologize you. for, um, you know, the uh, the downfall Thank of... You. Oh, I think we're just gonna electrolyze this guy. That seems spicy. Blue, red, blue. Thank you. That was nice. Oh, scam likely. Oh, 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 oh no. Oh, we're just face fettering. Now we can't do that. Dang it. This is just terrible. Thank you. Why do you come in and play tapped? Thank you. Scam likely isn't in my comic book character name. Wow. Thank you. Ugh. This land is just, Thank just terrible. Thank you. We'll just pass here. The only thing we can cast is Hero's Downfall, so. Uh, have you got any upcoming articles? I have, an, I have an article on cool stuff every Wednesday, so yeah, I would think so. Thank you. Let's play an Elspeth here, because this is like the card I care about least in my hand. Yeah, that's fine. Done. Thank you. Any land lets us play any of these bad boys. Thank you. Oh, this is a great land. That's yep, another five drop. That's pretty cool. All right, so I'm definitely killing this. Thank you. Green and black. Thank you. Oh dear. Oh dear. Thank you. Tell them you're welcome, or you're not. You're welcome. Oh, they're just gonna exile land because fuck my life. Yep. Okay. Well. Thank you. Yep. Guess I'll pass. <sighs> Thank you. Get rid of approach, I guess. Any untapped land, we can face fetters. Man, the untapped, the, the lands coming to play tapped is like the worst part of this whole thing. Any untapped land. Thank you. Oh wow, we are the gods smile on us. Thank you. The gods shit on us. Okay. Well, you got it. Seems good. All right. So again, Thank you. Wrath of God seems like trash. Geist seems good. Thank you. Yeah, it's weird because we have seventeen lands and three signets, and we're like, I feel like we're not drawing a proportional number of signets to the number of signets in our deck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Only two left? Oh, God. Oh, I think they're done. I think you guys miscount. Oh, you guys probably... Maybe you said that. <laughs> what the F is that noise? Something's breaking. Well, at least we can... At least we can is it Signet here. Oh, God. Is it safe to come out now? I don't think so. 
I think when Tannis is around, it's safe to th it's safe to think you'll never come out. It that doesn't make any sense. That's not a sentence. That's not how sentences work. Sure. All right. Well, next time we can Xenagos, and right now we can keep up his itch charm. Not to beat a dead horse here, but ask a question right before the Tannis explosion. Here it is. Can you distill your initial impressions of Eldraine into one or two sentences? Uh, I think the set looks really sweet. I don't think that's. I don't think. I don't think just repeating a question that I missed is beating a dead horse at all. I don't think that's. Uh, that sentence was in the latter. It's true, and they gave me a degree. Believe it or not, they're like, "Here you go, have an English degree," and I was like, "Wow, thank you." I won't let you down, and then I let them down. Yeah, I think Eldraine looks super sweet. I love the I love the adventure cards because they're basically a lot like flashback cards, um, where you can, it gives you a lot of tension. There's a lot of play, uh, where you can either choose to wait until you get value off of the adventure half, or you can actually uh, play the creature. Right. So it, I think there's going to be a lot of reward for knowing when to do which. So we can just kill Jace here. And then drop a Scarab God? Good lord. Wow, we, get, we kill both? I'm not sure I understand, but okay. And now we can get your Champion of Wits? Seems good. I mean, we're probably not going to. They're probably going to have some sort of shenanigans. Here we go, bribery. Is this going to be Venser, Bounce Scarab God, maybe? Oh, Guild of Lotus. Into Venser, Bounce Scarab God. Monastery Mentor. Okay. Seems okay. Seems just fine. One, two, three, four. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh yeah, definitely draw four, pitch two. Um, what are we pitching here, though? That's the question. Probably Lava Claw reaches. Probably Creeping Tarpet, I think? I hate ditching creature lands, but I want to play Journey here. Exile this gentleman, and then create a, a gentleman of our own. And now I feel like we're okay. It's game two. Might be game, is this game three or game two? Game two, right? I don't think we won game one. I think that was the last game. Last match. Time warp, sure. Tale as old as time. Quarantine field for four. Hmm. Pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six. We can just play Liliana. Seems very good. We can also attack with Needle Spire for six, but I think we can save that until next turn. Have a disenchant. Well, disenchant's good to get their monster mentor back. Which they do. <sighs> Let me explain to you how absolutely tired I am of losing to Teferis. Absolutely tired of it. Are they going to activate his Kanta? Yeah, I was like, that seems... Can we just neg Liliana and kill both their guys? Well, 
One, two, three, four, five. One, two. We don't have enough for everything, unfortunately. We can bounce quarantine field. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Does that seem good? Probably not, right? Do we just knock Tefri here? Or do we just go to the face? I'll hit Tefri because it lets Liliana stay on board longer, which I think is pretty powerful. Sure. <sighs> oh, God. Yep. This is pretty brutal. Yep. Yep. It's not the worst. Sure. Yep, all of this is fine. This is just a bunch of nonsense. So what do we got? One, two, three, four, five. Activate. So we can deal them seven here. That's pretty good. We can also just kill two planeswalkers, right? Presuming they don't have anything in their two cards. One, two, three, four. Activate. Um, no, we can't. Dang it. We can't activate both Lumbering Falls and Kissing Quagmire. We need green. We need two other green sources. I guess we can activate Needle Spires, which also kills. Alright, so we're going to go blue, blue. Green, black. But then they just don't have Ascanta up. Like, what's going on even? How do we even... I mean, I'm tempted to get rid of this quarantine field. I mean, just for a moment. But then they like literally get to replay it for a million. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen mana. So twelve mana. So five permanents. They would get rid of Xenagos, this guy again. I do have Visit Charm. I guess that's true. So if we played five, we can't activate a land, so we're only killing one Planeswalker. We're from Cloudscape bouncing this. We get two guys back. And we're not killing Karn. This is actually really tough. This is a tough decision. <laughs> we have a lot of things we can do here. We have two cards in hand, but they're going to get one with Hiskanta. So, like, that's pretty busted. Karn's not doing anything? Karn seems like he's doing a lot. Oh, wait, hold on. 
we have to pay double blue. It's one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I'm more concerned with Teferi. Alright, I think that's fine. Tail is all 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So they can just do it for like 6. The problem is we don't have 6 permanents, so like they're not going to do it for everything. But in response, we could actually get back Monastery Mentor, which is pretty sweet. Exile Scarab God. Okay, so Karn is not a problem anymore. I mean, if we get back Monastery Mentor, like, that's fine, because they're just going to use... Right, like this is going to force them to use Quarantine Field on four things, five things, maybe if they take the Signet. Uh, Teferi is... It's, it's a very close discussion. That's interesting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sure. Totally fine. Are we gathering some magic? Katie, what's going on? Yes, we are gathering some magic. The magics are gathering. Okay, so... Uh, that seems pretty okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we can go 7 here, have 5 left over. God, we're still dealing with this quarantine field. Uh, beating them down with creature lands is actually the stipulation, so that's a, that's a good strategy. I approve of it. Settle the wreckage, huh? Yeah, that's fine. Get a mountain. I don't think it matters too much. Oh my god. Come on, dude. Alright, they have no cards in hand, I guess. I guess we can Hydroid Crasses here. Sure. Oh, they just whiffed. That seems good for us. Um, so, one, two, three, four. Activate you. Oh, we're just going to win. We're just going to win the game with um, with man lands, creature lands, I like to say. Um, yeah, alright, I thought that was game three, unfortunately.
God, the deck is really obnoxious. Uh, yep, snap keep. Snap ems and keep ems. Alright, need a red source for this guy, but otherwise we can Geist of Saint draft, which is nice. The question is do we turn to Signet or Reflect or uh, Geist of Saint or uh, Riff Wing? I think it's still Signet because it lets us Geist of Saint draft next turn. Oh, this is interesting. Oh, that's just great. And a land I can play. Oh, oh, oh. Now we're just, oh, now we're just Enagosing. Oh, they're going to pack it. And then just, oh, they didn't pack it. Wow. All right. Well, that's a good deal. Is this where they quarantine field for two? No, because they didn't put double white in there. Oh, they might have. Oh, I think it is, but I think they forgot double white. So, no, it's just champion of wits. That's fascinating. Yeah, if you guys are ever wanting about a stip, you can just add command stip in the chat, and you will see the stip. Mommy, wow, I'm a big kid now. Okay, that's stuck. Hey Frank, just want to let you know that I was going through my YouTube subs and tossing stuff at Karen when you were the only one that wasn't even considered for a cup because your content is really just that good. I'm broke and can't afford crap or Twitch subs, but hey, I hope the good feels are worth reading of this. Dude, thank you so much. Stream Meme Weaver. Thank you so much, man. Yes. Definitely worth it. That means a ton to me, dude. Thank you so much, man. Yo, I can have this back? Thank you so much, dude. Yeah, stuff like that means a ton to me, guys. Thank you. Oh, Josh with the gifted sub. You guys are too pure for this world. Oh, yeah, get this guy back. That's good. That's good. Uh, let's go red. Green. And then we got... Guys, I'm feeling good about this game. Put you to four. Oh, and we just win it. Not too bad. Not too bad with the creature land stipulation. Unfortunately, we didn't get to activate many creature lands, but we still did win some games and deal some damage with creature lands. And um, I think our deck turned out pretty okay. Thank you so much, guys. Jojo MK, thank you so much for the stipulation. If you guys want to provide your own stipulation for cube drafts, which are the funnest for me, uh, you can definitely find out how to do that down below in my Twitch description or in my uh, YouTube description. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I will see you. I'll see you later. I love you guys.